Well, guys, let's say goodbye to Mr. Hand Select and say hello to Mr. Barrett. What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms. And guys, I think today we're gonna have a fun video. Well, I've got an idea. I've had a few ideas about how I should make my own homemade body armor. But just to get that experience and expertise, I've got the guys from Premier Body Armor. I've got Frank here. Thanks for coming out with us today. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I figured why not try some of my homemade body armor up against their professional stuff. I think my stuff will hold up just fine here and so does Mr. Hand Select. But without any further ado, let's go have some fun. You ready to try this out? And I'm ready. All right. Let's go. Let's do it, guys. All right, guys. Let's see if a uh, ream of paper will stop a 22. It's one of our Heritage 22s. Let's give it a shot here. All right. Let's see what happened. First off, Heritage 22s are a whole lot of fun to shoot. And secondly, nope, let's step it up some. What about a couple rounds to one of our PM63s chambered in nine by 18? Yeah, I think it's sweet shooting. Let's check it out. PM63 shot well. Let's see what it did to the dummy. Uh, got nothing yet, so so far, my homemade body armor has worked. Stopped a 22 and a 9x18. Let's step it up again. Let's see if the SMG 45 by LWRCI can defeat my homemade body armor down there. I might have one more in there. Let's take a look. First off, I'm going to go ahead and reiterate my love for the SMG 45. It's still there. And secondly, guys, oh, this is neat. Hey, Ryan, hold this real quick. You mind? Thank you. Got it. Let's see if it'll stay placed. Look at that. <laughs> so it went through. Oh, that, that is almost too cool. Look at that. So it went through the paper, kind of through the vest, and it hit Mr. Hand Select just a little bit. So it'd be enough on a human to cause some pain, that's for sure. So there it is. But look what I pulled out so far. There's two. Um, maybe Mr. Hand Select did get one right there. Might have to paint him back up and then try to move on. But I don't see, got pieces of jacket. Oh wait, there's three. Look at that. How cool is that? Still warm too, that's nice. <laughs> uh, all right, I think maybe the fourth and last one was the one that maybe went all the way through. Cause uh, definitely put a hole in the paper, that's for sure. <laughs> that's fun. So the SMG 45 and the 45 ACP defeated my ream of paper body armor. That's okay, I had a couple of extra cast iron pans laying around. My wife might be kind of mad at me for taking her good dishes, but you know, whatever. Uh, so I've got one on this side over here, and then I've got one on the rear. True body armor fashion, front and rear plates. So let's see if the 9mm BM9 will defeat my, uh, or I should say my wife's cast iron pans. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I forgot the riser mount on my hollow sun, but oh well. All right, sorry, honey. <laughs> so the little five and a half inch BM9 here seemed to have defeated my idea for my uh, cast iron pan there. So I just completely wasted that for no reason. So again, sorry, wife. But uh, as you can tell, we've got penetration through the first pan right there in Mr. Hand Select. But I noticed when I came around back, uh, I see nothing, so I'm thinking maybe the bullet's still in Mr. Hand Select here. So let's spice it up a little bit, and let's go grab one of our Gallant rifles and see if that'll puncture both pans. All right, let's see if our 223 Gallant here can uh, defeat both the front and rear panels. Let's take a look. So the 55 FMJ has clearly gone through my first layer of body armor, frying pan. Uh, hit the dummy, but it looks like it's tumbling, and uh, I don't know if it's coming out the side or what, but I do not have penetration on my back frying pan. Again, this is only 55 grain FMJ, but I got some 62 grain green tip, 
let's see if that makes a difference. All right, so let's try it with a little bit heavier bullet. Here's one of the green tip rounds. Might be a little difficult to see, but that's what's in there. I'm gonna try to aim a little bit higher and to the right from my last point of impact. And let's see if this gets it. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty fun. Um, Ryan, hold the gallant real quick here. So what I didn't notice is though, apparently one of my pri previous rounds or my second round there, our first one did actually go through. It's just, I missed it. Uh, I don't know how, but I missed it. It did go all the way through and that green tip without a doubt made it all the way through right here. So uh, my frying pan, my frying pan theory is a bust guys. But maybe the guys from Premier Body Armor has a better solution. So my homemade body armor didn't really live up to what I thought it was, but I think the guys at Premier Body Armor have a little bit more sophisticated technology and probably better products than reams of paper, I can imagine, yeah? Absolutely, Clint. <laughs> uh, yes, no doubt. Uh, hey, so I'm, I'm holding one of our, our uh, backpack ballistic panels. See how thin, how light, how flexible. Uh, we make a panel that fits probably every single backpack out in the industry. Oh, yeah. Level 3A, uh, everything is made in the USA. Uh, the exact same materials that we use on our law enforcement vests is what we use to make our ballistic panels. So let's put them to the test. Yeah, that is awesome. And yeah, I actually have, when exactly. we were at the yes. NRA show, I picked up one of y'all's yes. uh, soft body on panels and that stays in my backpack all the time. Mm -hmm. And TSA approved. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I've flown glad with you said it. that. Yeah, yeah, flown with it and no issues. But uh, I know that's made for backpacks, but I've got this cheapo plate carrier here. All right, let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if Mr. Hanslack can stand up to it. Let's do it. So will Premier's soft body panels there, or soft body armor panels, save Mr. Hanslack from a 115 grain nine mil bullet? Let's find out. Okay. So let's see if Mr. Hanslack survived the BM9 here. Hold that for me, Ryan. Ryan, let's just take a look. Okay. So I've got point of impact right here, and uh, I got nothing. I got a little bit of a bruise, but that's to be expected with body armor. But completely clear on this side, so let's see what a 45 will do. You know, I thought Mr. Hanslack looked a little naked down there, so I thought I'd throw up one of our beautiful classic firearms patches. They're on the website if you like them. But I'm hoping the SMG 45 will uh, kind of perform like it did with my ream of paper, but. I have my doubts. So let's just see if the uh, Premier soft body panel can handle it. All right, so the 45. Yep, nope. Looking clean there. So, so far, Premier is showing me up in my uh, ream of paper. So, you know what? I've had it. I'm done playing around. Let's get serious and bring out the Fostec Origin 12. Hey, Frank, you think, uh, you think your soft panel can handle this? All right, guys, this might be it for Mr. Hand Select. Let's see. All right, guys, so actually, even though he took a fall, I think Mr. Hand Select looks okay. Um, uh, now, Alex here has explained to me a couple of things, but let's go ahead and bust it open and take a look at it yeah, real quick. Ryan, you mind holding the uh, Fostec for me? Thank you. And let's just see what all went Oh, look at that. There's the wad. <laughs> oh man, all sorts of stuff flying around here. Goodness, all right. So, it feels like the armor itself is just wadded up. That's right. Yeah, so, yeah. so what happens whenever it gets hit by something that hard? And actually, I've only got two impacts here. I think, I think my third one must have missed the panel or something. So explain to me what happened. Yeah, so yeah, when, when a, a round as large as a, a slug hits this, it's got so much impact force that it's gonna go through a few layers and it's gonna start separating the panel, kind of bulging it out like this. Yeah. Uh, so that's why, you know, it goes from flat to a little bit bulged. And we'll be able to tell more of the story once we cut it open and, and kind of see what the layers actually look like. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's do that real quick. All right. So we'll remove that outer shell yeah. here. Looks like we might have only had two points of impact with the shotgun slugs, but we'll know for sure here in a moment. All right. 
Oh yeah, I'm already seeing something kind of cool. <laughs> Is that water pretty clear? Yep. You might find some rounds inside there. Okay. Here oh we yeah, go. I can feel something rolling around in here. Look at so that. So here's the first slug. Yeah. What do you think about that? That is cool. So let's show this up, guys. That right there is a 12 gauge slug, which actually looks pretty similar to like the bolt head that we have on our steel shots over there, our steel targets. But that right there is a rifled 12 gauge slug. That's pretty impressive. That's right. And then this right here looks like maybe a 45 yeah. that came out of it. That is beautiful. That is art. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's the second one there. Yeah, so yeah. looks like they're stopping you know, right there in the first couple layers, actually. That is impressive. Uh, that one's Look even that. more mushroom. Yeah, guys, that is just too cool. The technology and science behind this is just right. so neat. Yeah. That's awesome. So I'm guessing my third round on its way down after this has expanded some, probably, I, I think I hit right on my classic. That's right. Logo. Yeah, as it that's, that's what happened to Mr. Hanselect here. That's right, as it, as it expanded, it shrunk a little bit height-wise, and as yeah. it was falling, I think it went over the panel, because on the back you can see. Look at that, guys, absolute light. That is Nothing impressive. Nothing went through. That is so cool. There you go. Man, There's so. Your souvenir. Yeah, all right. Dude, <laughs> I'm hanging this up. So, guys, I hate to, you know, accept defeat here, but cast iron pans and reams of paper, and another bullet just fell out. Uh, yeah, look, there it is. That looks like a nine mil there. <laughs> There's all sorts of goodies in here, man. <laughs> Gift that keeps on giving. But uh, unfortunately, my reams of paper and cast iron pans, they just didn't live up to my expectations. However, the soft body panel from Premier has. So you've got another toy here that can withstand our Gallant. Oh yeah, let's move it up to level three. Three, let's, three plus even, you might say. Let's have some fun guys. Let's check, let's bring out the Gallant and some, uh, some steel now, right? Let's do it. All right. Guys, we're approximately like 30 feet away here. Let's see if that level 3A Premier body armor can withstand some uh, 62 green tip here, 62 grain green tip from the Gallant. Let's go see. So let's go ahead and take the plate out really quick. We are clear. Let's just see where my impacts were because my carrier's getting a little messed up. Hold that for me, Ryan. Let's just see. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, it's down low here. Look at that nothing on the back not even slightly deformed like that didn't even make it mad all right let's let's step it up one more let's see if a uh, 762 by 51 will do some damage to it let's give it a shot here let's see where my point of uh, impact is first i can't tell let's just keep shooting well Let's see what happened. Well guys, um, I was only able to get a couple of shots off because my plate carrier gave out before the plates did. And that was at what, 20, 30 feet with 762 by 50, 150 grain Aguila ammo. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't think my paper would have held up to this. <laughs> but all I can see, or not even see, all I can feel are just some notches right back here. And yeah. then uh, you've got this coating that's around it. Can you explain to me uh, what that is? Yeah, so this is just a simple spray-on coating. It's kind of like a truck bed liner. Okay. Uh, but all that's going to do is give some abrasion resistance and some protection to the steel uh, from water and the other elements. Um, not meant for spalling. Yeah. Uh, as we can see, see on your plate yeah. carrier, you got messed up by some spalling. <laughs> as you can uh, see that right there. And, yeah. And what is spalling for our Yeah, spalling is kind of like uh, maybe shrapnel. Yeah. You might hear it called shrapnel. But basically, when that when that uh, bullet hits a uh, hard surface like this plate, it's just instantane instantaneously going to just explode into right. a million little pieces. Uh, and that can be pretty dangerous. So uh, this is why we would recommend a spall liner, yep. or something additional to go with the plate to protect you from this. Yep. And uh, that's so. my exact setup with my plate carrier. That's right. Y'all's plate. And then, of course, I have the spall liner on the front. And uh, thankfully, I haven't had to test it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had it tested on me, but I am pretty sure that it would protect me from this happening. Exactly, that's what it's gonna yeah. do. It's gonna capture all of this ball. You're not gonna get any of this tearing in your plate carrier or anything coming up towards your body. Right. Uh, yeah, and the, and the shape of the plate also helps with that. You'll notice most of this ball comes out the sides and the yeah. bottom rather than coming up, and that's just because of this tapered, 
curve that we are able to put in steel is going to help you there. So. Right, gotcha. Well, I think we got a couple more guns to try because I am determined to defeat this because if my homemade body armor solutions were defeated, I know I can defeat this. Maybe. So uh, let's try to tape this up the best we can and let's give it another couple shots. Let's do it. All right, guys. Standard Gallant mag or Galil mag, I should say. Got some green tip. I'm ready to break this plate. All right, looks like the plate carrier failed me again. Let's go look at the plate. Well, it appears I've got no penetration here. Ugh. Plate looks fine. Nothing happening on the back. All right, I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Let's get it. Well guys, let's say goodbye to Mr. Hand Select and say hello to Mr. Barrett. All right, you Ryan, you ready? Ready. Sorry I'm doing this to you, buddy. It's been real. <laughs> yes. Well, I sighted in the 50 on my theory of uh, body armor, and let's just say it, it don't work. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, but what did work to an extent, at least, was y'all's stuff. So, guys, take a look at that. Let me take the tape off of here so it looks a little bit better for you. But everywhere else minus the 50 just completely defeated all other rounds, pretty much. Of course, these aren't graded for 50 cal, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right, so that would probably uh, void the warranty, yeah? Yeah, your, your warranty's toast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, guys, that right there just goes to show you the quality, ultimately, of Premier Body Armor. Obviously not rated for a 50 cal, and I kind of figured this would be my one way of beating them, but ultimately I really just lost. Homemade Body Armor, don't do it. It's not a good idea. Just spend the money, get quality, get what you know is quality from Premier Body Armor. And uh, I'm really happy to say that Mr. Hanslack took it like a champ. I've got one, barely even a mark right here, through and through, a little bit more of an exit channel, but not bad at all. And I'll be happy to say he will be featured in future videos. But uh, enough about him. I just want to say again, thanks you guys, uh, Jason, Frank, Alex for coming out. Really appreciate oh, yeah. it. Love it, it was great. Oh, absolutely, man. So talk about a fun day with the guys from Premier Body Armor. Excellent group of guys for sure. Go ahead and check out their products that we currently have on our site, that being their soft body armor for your backpack insert. So go ahead and check that out. Pretty cool stuff. That's the stuff we shot at that stopped up to a 12 gauge slug. Pretty sweet. But what I really want to talk to you about is this Gallant that you see right here in front of me with the bayonet, the bipod, the beautiful wood forend on it. Both sides at that too. Just good looking rifle. Again, these are chambered in 5.56 and we are giving this one away. So head on over to classicfirearms.com, click on that top banner where you can win your Gallant. Go ahead and refer friends for the maximum amount of entries. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that kind of fun social media stuff to get those entries in. And uh, if you're looking and you decide why well, I can't wait, I want to pull the trigger on something else uh, or another different Gallant, go ahead, take a look. We've got a few of them in stock including the kind that uh, I torture tested here. So go ahead and check out that video on it because uh, that thing ran after I was not so nice to it. So check all that out, guys. Get your entries in for the Gallant. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.